चैप्टर फाइव कंजर्वेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस एक्सरसाइजेज क्वेश्चन वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ए अ प्लेस वेयर एनिमल्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड इन देयर नेचुरल हैबिटेट इज कॉल्ड सेंचुरी बी स्पीशीज फाउंड ओनली इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया इज नोन एज एंडेमिक सी माइग्रेटरी बर्ड्स फ्लाई टू फार अवे प्लेसेज बिकॉज ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक चेंजेस क्वेश्चन टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन द फॉलोइंग A. Wildlife Sanctuary and Biosphere Reserve. Answer: Wildlife Sanctuary, Biosphere Reserve. Wildlife Sanctuary, an area within which wild animals are protected from external dangers like hunting. Biosphere Reserve, an area constructed for the conservation of biodiversity. Wildlife Sanctuary, adequate habitat and protection are provided for the wild animals living in a sanctuary. Biosphere Reserve. Several life forms like plants, animals, and microorganisms conservation are possible in a reserve. Wildlife sanctuary example: Jim Corbett National Park. Biosphere reserve example: Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. B. Zoo and wildlife sanctuary. Answer: Zoo. Animals are kept in artificially constructed facilities for public exhibition. Wildlife sanctuary: An area within which Wild animals are protected from external dangers like hunting. Zoo, it is an artificial habitat and the animals may or may not adapt to the new conditions. Wildlife sanctuary, the animals are conserved within their natural habitat itself so they won't have a problem with their surroundings. C, endangered and extinct species. Answer, endangered species The species which are on the verge of extinction are called endangered species. Extinct species, the species of animals or plants that no longer exist are called extinct species. Endangered species example, Bengal tiger, blue whale, etc. Extinct species example, Caribbean monk seal, great auk, passenger pigeon, etc. D, flora and fauna. Answer Flora it is the collective name for plant life from a particular area fauna it is the collective name for the animal life from a particular area flora example spurs and hog weed from the nilgiris region fauna example langur tiger and tar from the nilgiris region question 3 discuss the effects of deforestation on the following a wild animals answer effects of deforestation on wild animals removal of trees and plant life from a particular area for the construction of industries agriculture or for other such purposes is termed deforestation plant life forms an integral part of the ecosystem and they form the natural habitat of various animals in an ecosystem destroying plant life will ultimately threaten the existence of animals in a particular ecosystem and may lead to their extinction b environment effects of deforestation on the environment in plants photosynthesis takes place through the absorption of co2 from the earth's atmosphere and friends co2 is carbon dioxide the percentage of co2 in the atmosphere increases rapidly if the plant life of an area is destroyed increased concentrations of co2 results in the trapping of excessive heat radiations within the earth's atmosphere contributing to global warming this results in the rise of the temperature of the earth and disturbs the water cycle which occurs in nature hence rainfall pattern changes leading to droughts and floods c villages rural areas effects of deforestation on villages the soil particles are held together in a place by the roots of the plants trees and other vegetation in the event of water flow or a high speed wind over the top layer of the soil the soil particles get removed easily as there are no plants to hold them in place lately soil erosion has increased by deforestation activities soil loses fertility and humus hence fertile land fit for agriculture turns into a desert d cities urban areas effects of deforestation on cities The risk of natural calamities like floods and drought in urban areas has increased by deforestation. It will also lead to global warming 
because of increased CO2 that is carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Global warming is a result of continuous pollution from automobiles and industries. The water cycle in the vicinity is also affected. E. Earth Effects of deforestation on Earth Deforestation leads to increased chances and occurrences of desertification, droughts and floods. Carbon dioxide level in the Earth's atmosphere also increases, which leads to global warming. The water cycle is disrupted and there is also an increased risk of natural calamities. F. The next generation Effects of deforestation on the next generation Our environment is slowly changing due to the activities of deforestation, both directly and indirectly. Soil erosion, global warming, desertification, drought, greenhouse effect, floods and many other problems are caused only because of deforestation. Ultimately, the next generation will face the consequences of deforestation. Question 4. What will happen if A. We go on cutting trees. Answer. If we go on cutting the trees, if we go on cutting the trees, the animals will lose their natural habitat as an essential part of their ecosystem is destroyed. This reduces the biodiversity of the affected areas. The temperature of the earth also increases and paves the way to global warming. Global warming in turn affects the water cycle, hence rainfall pattern changes, leading to droughts and floods. As a result, Risks of soil erosion, global warming, desertification, greenhouse effect increase. B. The habitat of an animal is disturbed. If the habitat of an animal is disturbed, all the basic necessities for an animal like food, water, shelter and protection are provided by the habitat in which the animal lives in. Disturbing the habitat of the animals forces them to move to another place in search of food water, shelter and protection. The animals in due course may get killed by other animals. What will happen if C. The top layer of soil is exposed? Answer: Removing the top layer of the soil gradually exposes the lower layers of the soil. The lower layers of the soil are hard and rocky in nature and are less fertile. This is because of the reduced quantity of humus. Soil erosion on a continued basis will turn land barren and infertile. Question 5. Answer in brief. A. Why should we conserve biodiversity? Answer. The number and variety of various life forms such as plants, animals and microorganisms in the area are called biodiversity. Both plants and animals have a mutual dependence on each other for their survival. As they are related to one another, the destruction of one will automatically destroy the other. Hence, biodiversity has to be conserved in order to maintain nature's balance. B. Protected forests are also not completely safe for wild animals. Why? Answer. People who live near the forests depend on the resources of the forest in order to fulfill their day-to-day -day needs. Therefore, it is not safe for animals living in protected forests. The animals would be threatened by the presence of the human population. This results in the killing of wild animals and selling their products for huge sums of money. C. Some tribals depend on the jungle. How? Answer. The forests provide food and other resources to the tribal people. It is inevitable for them to depend on forest and their resources for everyday needs. D. What are the causes and consequences of deforestation? Answer. There are a lot of causes of deforestation. A few of them are listed below. First, in order to accommodate the ever-expanding urban population, forest areas are often cleared and converted into lands for various uses. Second, for agricultural activities like crop cultivation and cattle grazing, forest lands are cleared. Third, firewood is a major product from the forest and it is one of the main reasons for cutting trees on a large scale. Consequences of Deforestation There are lot of fatal consequences caused by deforestation. A few of them are listed below. First, soil erosion. Second, loss of biodiversity. Third, floods. Fourth, droughts. Fifth, global warming as a result of climate change. Sixth, disruption of the water cycle. E. What is Red Data Book? 
आंसर द रेड डेटा बुक इज़ अ सोर्स बुक विच हैज़ एन इंटरनेशनल लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल प्लांट एंड एनिमल स्पीशीज विच आर एंडेंजर्ड डेट इज ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ एक्सटेंशन द इंटरनेशनल यूनियन फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचर एंड नेचुरल रिसोर्स आई यू सी एन मेंटेन्स द बुक्स एंड एड्स रिमूव्स द नेम्स ऑफ द स्पीशीज बाय कंडक्टिंग अ कंप्रीहेंसिव सर्वे एफ वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द टर्म माइग्रेशन आंसर द मूवमेंट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म और अ ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रॉम इट्स नेचुरल हैबिटेट टू अनदर प्लेस ऑन अ स्टैंडर्ड बेसिस एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम each and every year is known as migration the organisms do so in order to avoid un inhabitable conditions of climate or for the process of breeding question 6 in order to meet the ever increasing demand in factories and for shelter trees are continually being cut is it justified to cut trees for such projects discuss and prepare a brief report answer no cutting trees in order to meet the ever growing demands of the human population is not at all justified there are a vast number of organisms like wild animals insects and birds living in the forest the forests provide good quality air for animals birds humans and other organisms this is because of the process of plant respiration by which they consume harmful carbon dioxide and give out good quality oxygen thus they keep greenhouse gases and global warming under check the roots of the flora of the forests help in preventing soil erosion natural calamities such as floods and droughts could also be prevented by their presence they help in increasing the soil's fertility and conserving the biodiversity of the ecosystem next over utilization of forests and their resources by cutting a large number of trees in order to satisfy the demands of the ever increasing human population leads to many long term problems like soil erosion greenhouse effect global warming floods droughts besides the above listed problems the effects of large scale deforestation will leave an everlasting mark on the face of human civilization the balance of nature is disturbed by the destruction of trees hence it is of utmost priority and importance to conserve forest question 7 how can you contribute to the maintenance of the green wealth of your locality make a list of actions to be taken by you answer i can take care of the green wealth of my locality by growing plants in my locality i shall motivate the people of my neighborhood to plant more trees and take care of the existing trees by creating awareness about the importance of plant life in an ecosystem in order to make this possible i would initiate the proceedings and organize weekly events on the same creating awareness among the children and youth would be of top priority as they will easily understand the issues that we are facing planting new trees is as important as looking after the existing ones so my volunteers and i would water the plants and trees on a regular basis question 8 explain how deforestation leads to reduce the rainfall answer removal of trees and plant life from a particular area for the construction of industries agriculture and other purposes is termed deforestation photosynthesis in plant life takes place through the absorption of co2 that is carbon dioxide from the earth's atmosphere when plant life is destroyed the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will increase drastically leading to the trap of heat radiation which causes global warming this rise in temperature will affect the water cycle disturbance in the water cycle will lead to a chain of events and in the end the rainfall pattern changes and results in droughts question 9 find out about national parks in your state identify and show their location on the outline map of india so friends i have written major national parks in india so you can choose them according to your states first jim corbett national park uttarakhand significance india's first national park known for bengal tigers location nainital district second kaziranga national park assam significance famous for the largest population of one horn rhinoceroses in the flood plains of the brahmaputra river third sundarbans national park west bengal significance a unesco world heritage site 
home to the Bengal tiger and the largest mangrove forest in the world. Location, the delta region of the Gangas, Meghna and Brahmaputra river. Next, Gair National Park, Gujarat. Significance, the only place in the world where Asiatic lions are found. Location, Saurashtra region. Next, Ganthambor National Park, Rajasthan. Significance, known for its large tiger population and historic fort. Location, Savai Madhopur district. Next, Kana National Park, Madhya Pradesh. Significance, inspiration for Rodiard Kipling's The Jungle Book, known for tigers, leopards and the Barasinga deer. Location, Madhya Pradesh. Next, Periyar National Park, Kerala. Significance, famous for elephants and the scenic Periyar Lake. Location, the Western Ghats. Next, Bandavgarh National Park, Madhya Pradesh. Significance, known for a high density of Bengal tigers. Location, Vindhya Hills. Next, Manas National Park, Assam. Significance, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for tigers, elephants and the rare pygmy hog. Location at the foothills of the Himalayas. Next, Nagarhol National Park, Karnataka. Significance, known for a large population of elephants and a variety of wildlife. Location, part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. So friends, next identify and show their location on the outline map of India. So this is the outline map of India. So we will see the location of the national parks written. Major national parks location in India. First, Jim Corbett National Park, Uttarakhand, here. Second, Kaziranga National Park, Assam, here. Third, Sundarbans National Park, West Bengal, here. Next, Gate National Park, Gujarat, here. Next, Ranthambore National Park, Rajasthan, here. Next, Kanha National Park, Madhya Pradesh, here. Next, Periyar National Park, Kerala, here. Next, Bandavgarh National Park, Madhya Pradesh, here. Next, Manas National Park, Assam, here. Next, Nagarhol National Park, Karnataka, here. So friends, these are the locations of the national park on the outline map of India. So you can note down the location. Question 10. Why should the paper be saved? Prepare a list of ways by which you can save paper. Answer. If one ton of clean white paper is to be produced, 17 full grown trees are cut down. Trees plays a major role in maintaining a balance in nature. So, it is essential to save paper in order to protect the trees and avoid the impact of the loss of trees on the living organisms that depend on these trees. Ways to save paper are First, collection and recycling of used paper Using both sides of a paper for writing Spreading awareness about the importance of paper among school children and youth Intelligent and proper use of paper Question 11. Complete the word puzzle Down Species on the verge of extinction, endangered. Second, a book carrying information about endangered species, read that a book. Fifth, consequence of deforestation, deserts. Across. First, species which have vanished, extinct. Third, species found only in a particular habitat, endemic. Fourth, variety of plants, animals and microorganisms found in an area, biodiversity. First, across, extinct. Third, endemic. Fourth, biodiversity. Down, first, endangered. Second, red data book. Fifth, deserts. Friends, we have completed all the question answers from the chapter. If you find the video useful, kindly like it. For any other questions, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.